Previously on the Mr. Potato Head Show... Please inform Mr. Potato Head that his show is... Cancelled! Mr. Potato Head, meet Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom, meet Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> We're doomed, Hammy, doomed! Three days in the blistering sun without food! Thank you for choosing the self-destruct function. 59, 58, hey, wait. 57... Not in any way good! <laughs> A show. He makes a show with his kitchen crew. With his kitchen crew, the TV guy. The TV guy. Tell him what to do, do, do. And when you see him coming, well, everybody knows. Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head. Twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty. Ah, PH, we gotta do something. Uh, I've lost my show. I've lost my reason for living. Why not just go out in a blaze of glory? Cause I don't wanna. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. Six, five, four, eleven, six, twenty, twenty, uh, nineteen, eighteen, forty-eight, a million, seventeen, a hundred and thirty-nine. <laughs> which allow us to survive for weeks at a time without food. You're thinking of walruses. Oh, but you do have thick layers of... Don't go there. I know what would lift you from the doldrums of starvation and despair. Dancing and dinner with Leonardo DiCaprio? No, if we paddled over to that less tropical island over there. Oh, we're safe! Oh. Please don't tell me that island's been behind me this whole time, and you just didn't mention it until now? Okay, I will not tell you. I can't get the interdimensional portal to work, Hammy. There's only one thing to do. Wait! Stop! Yes? I must use that mysterious power common to all big goods, Hammy. Oh? Mesmerism. <laughs> <laughs> By the power of my glance and all the stinky cheese in France mm -hmm. and every tailor who sells pants you will fall into a trance and do a very stupid dance <laughs> He's actually pretty graceful for the big guy. Hammy, love or the dance. Mm. Well, at least I'm not starving anymore. <coughs> Still, it gives me all this time to think about just how much I miss my friends. <laughs> Something that will cheer you up, Skipper. Don't call me Skipper. I have constructed a luxurious mansion for you out of palm fronds and spit. It has everything you could ever want, Skipper. Don't call me Skipper. A tennis court and a swimming pool and hot and cold running coca coca nuts. Does it have pH baloney in the rest? I do not think so. Then I don't care. But Skipper! Do not! Oh. 
Uh, 48, 20, 60, 92. 90. No, oh, I give up. If you want to self-destruct, you could just go find yourself another countdown voice. Good news, PH. We're not going to be blown to subatomic particles after all. <laughs> Whoop to freaking do. Donkey Waddlefoot! How come that talentless pig biter has a show and I don't? It's enough to make me want to quit wallowing in self-pity and just do something? Hey, maybe so. Who's a quitter? Not me, baby. Just because we're not on TV doesn't mean we can't do a show. Mm. Hey, um, hand me the cell phone, my meaty chum. Aye, aye, PH. Oi! That'd be brilliant, PH. We'll be right there. Hey, happy with. Let's rock and roll. Oh, I'm good to not hang up this hammer. Oh. Huh. I didn't realize they had phone service in the cosmic void between dimensions. I'll get it. Hello? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Excellent. I'll be right there, PH. All right, see you then. Hey, do you mind? I'm busy making hollow campaign promises. <gasps> oh. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, PH. I'll be right there. Sorry, have to go. <laughs> Yes, P.H. You're right, P.H. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, baloney, looking good, baloney, ni ni, baloney, ni ni ni, ni 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 ni. I know that you miss our friends, but you really have to stop talking to these dummies, Skipper. Can you believe it, P.H.? She called you a dummy, me me me. Mm. I think you have eaten too many coconuts. Oh, I will get it. You heard that too? I thought it was just another sign of my alarming mental disintegration. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, yes, BH. We are fine. How are you? Uh, come back with a Oh, yes. Uh, Okie doke. We will be right there, right away. <laughs> Potato Bug, why didn't you tell me there was a phone in the life raft? Oh, I thought you knew. It was right next to the signal flares and the canned goods and the outboard motor. I think I'm going to be ill. And a satellite dish with two-way video comforting uplink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, party people, we're gonna do a live stage show. <laughs> it is so great to have everybody back together again. Yeah. And everything is going to be perfect. And from now on, nothing bad will ever happen again! <laughs> yes, so mighty ruler. We will lead the armada to Oif and conquer it. <laughs> All hail Emperor Ghostplant. Hey, you think it's weird that we're taking orders from a dead plant? The words you speak are treason. Oh, sorry. Don't tell anyone, okay? Buy me a burger? Deal. Well, let's go conquer the earth. Sure. Bada beam. Bada boom. You know, this place is pretty good. With a couple of months to write a script and build some sets and maybe another month or so to rehearse it, I think that we could have a pretty good show. Oh, uh, did I mention that the show opens today? What the... <laughs> I bet you're gonna say not in any way good. Not in any way good! <laughs> <laughs> Dig me, I'm psychic! <laughs> I've got two eyes! He's got two eyes! I've got a nose! He's got a nose! I've got two ears! He's got two ears! Wherever I go! Wherever he goes! And when you see... 
see me coming, well everybody knows Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mr. Potato Head Live Stage Extravacular! Whoa, hear that thunderous applause? We're a hit, baby. Huh, you've gone funny in the head. <laughs> hey, I know there's only one guy out there, but we're gonna give him the best dang show of his life. Yeah, providing he's lived his whole life in a cave. <laughs> doctor, doctor, my feet smell and my nose runs. Are you sure you're not built upside down? <laughs> Um, um, doctor, doctor, uh, uh, um, um, my dandruff is so bad. How bad is it? Well, yesterday I scratched my head and I got a ticket for littering. <laughs> dandruff. That's not funny. I'll have you know that dandruff, stinking dandruff, killed my paw. Daddy! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. wait a minute. Uh, okay, we're, we're just a few minutes into our live stage show spectagunza, and our whole soul audience member has stormed off in a huff. Can I say not in any way good now? Great. Things could not possibly get worse. You know, the last time you said that, things got worse. Don't get superstitious on me now. What is happening here? <laughs> what is happening here in compared to us? There's only one way to find out. Turn on the TV? Precisely, my meaty chum. <laughs> <laughs> it's Donkey Waterfoot, and he's on every channel. Oh, I think he's going to say something. The aliens are your friends. Obey their will. Do not resist. Do not resist. Do not resist. I think that what I'm getting at here is do not resist. Uh, I always knew Donkey Waterfoot was in league with the forces of evil. Uh, don't you see? It's a conspiracy of epic proportions. The aliens arranged for our show to be canceled so that Waddlefoot could become popular and lull the people of Earth into submission. And that means we are the only ones who can save the planet. Well, I guess that means our planet is doomed then. Thanks for the can-do attitude, baby. up everyone we must protect our world from the hideous alien invaders my friends to be sure we are entertainers not warriors but the important thing is that we are all working together be it on a quality TV show or the hopeless battle which will surely end in our demise so stout comrades we shall save the earth or die trying who's with me Did I mention that anyone who is with me gets a coupon good for a free frozen yogurt? Woo! Oh, yeah. 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 All right, come on, let's go! Come on, everybody, come on! Well, I know my car will go into space. You didn't touch those buttons I told you not to touch, did you? Don't quibble. But there are eight of us. Can you think of any way we can all fit in it, Dr. Fruitcake? Hmm. Indubitably. <laughs> Jump, potato! Shiver me timbers! Voila! Seating for eight! <laughs> now we can all fly into outer space and be destroyed by aliens, PH. <laughs> Who's a mad genius? That's right, it's you! <laughs> 
Red Leader 1 to Wobbling Turkey. Come in, Wobbling Turkey. Why does our code name have to be Wobbling Turkey? Why can't it be Soaring Eagle or something? I want to be Happy Chicken. Hmm. Roger that, Wobbling Turkey. Red Leader 1 to Apoplectic Water Buffalo. Come in, Apoplectic Water Buffalo. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Papa Luppy. Uh, Appaloosa. Anti flammable bacteria. Uh, I'm here, Potato Head. Roger that. Uh, Apoplectic Water Buffalo. Red Leader 1 to Cocker Spaniel with a Canadian accent. Come in, Cocker Spaniel with a Canadian accent. Uh, uh, enough with the code names, PH. I'm Fruitcake. Dr. Fruitcake. He never gets it right, Hammer. Oh. Fine, no more code names, you big baby. <gasps> PH, look! Oh. 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 It's an alien armada! Oh. Okay, party people, let's kick some alien keister. shooting no one is getting hit not as weird as the fact that we can breathe in space uh, good point <laughs> okay mr. potato head this has been real amusing and all but um, we have to conquer your planet now yeah so we're gonna destroy you and your friends with our ultimate weapon you don't mean Sarcasm? No. Something even more powerful. A really, really, really big hammer. Bada bing! Bada boom! Bada bam! Egan! Not in any way good! Three cheese and crackers! Great cooking and muggin' it! Blimey! Wontag's beard! It's a cacophony of mayhem, Hammer. I love it. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, this looks like the end, my meaty chum. My only regret is that I never visited Paris. <laughs> Hello, little potato. It's Betty the Kitchen Fairy. Hey! <laughs> are, are you here to call us juddering magpies? No, you juddering magpie. I'm here to do something for a change. I'm going to save you and the Earth from those goat-bellied alien loggerheads. Gosh, Betty, that'd be keen. Yeah. Hmm. By the power of my enchanted ladle, I call upon Blostrigath the Destroyer. <laughs> free. I'm free. And I'm unusually large. Hmm. Horse divorce. <laughs> so you want to flee in terror? Sure. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woo, that's good! Friend. Thanks, Betty the Kitchen Fairy! Don't mention it, you assortment of dunder-pated whales bladders! Oh! And since I hate to leave without criticizing anyone, you have poor taste in clothing and a funny nose. All right, cheerio! <laughs> well, PH, it looks like the Earth is saved. Party time! Sugar cream pies are on me? <laughs> Tubular, baby! Oh, but first there's one little detail I have to take care of. Huh? Jack you! I have put two and two together and come up with evil. You, sir, are one of the fiendish alien overlords. And Budkins, I've been found out. Curse you, Mr. Potato Head. You have foiled our plan to conquer your insignificant planet. Well, if it's so insignificant, why do you want to conquer it? Uh, oh, that's a really good point. I guess you saved us a lot of trouble. Thanks, buddy. Catch you on the flip side. I always thought the boss was kind of odd. 
Now, don't you feel bad knowing that you were working for a fiendish monster bent on enslaving all the people of the Earth? Eh, there's worse people in this business. Anyway, now that he's gone, I guess you can have your show back. Oh, and you'll be my bosses again? Honestly, for true? Yeah, why not? Tubular, baby! Oh, yeah! I'm gonna make a show so great, it'll put hair on your chest. Ooh! It'll put hair on every chest in the world. <laughs> Enough hair to bring joy and peace to everyone. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but I love it. Mm. people i know we're all happy to be together again and i know we're proud to have saved the earth and made the universe safe for well for us but you know let us not lose sight of our goal which is to provide viewers everywhere with high quality programming which is their inalienable god-given right Woohoo! Yeah! Yes, yes. <laughs> Roy. so what should the episode next week be about hmm nah who cares People will watch anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right.